the static hv versus the fjx which one is better two of the medals in the game right now now one of the viewers one of the followers just told me to go ahead and try the static hv i completely forgot about that weapon apparently that weapon is better than the fjx so today we're gonna go ahead and try both of these weapon outs and see which one's better so we're gonna give you guys the bill and we're gonna break it down the cons and the pros of these weapons to see which one is actually better so you can see right here both of these weapons are absolutely incredible right here is the bill for the fjx and then the bill for the static now at the end of the video we're going to break down every single attachment and we're going to talk about numbers now right here as you can see it takes three shots three critical shots for each one of these weapons to actually bring down a regular Watch zombie it. but i think what it's going to come down to is ads speed and mobility as you can see right here we're showing a glimpse of what you're going to see with mobility the fjx mobility and ads is just monster it's on another level another thing that might come into play is that the static got 800 reserve and only 100 on the magazine but faster reloading look at the reloading right here it's insane while the fjx got 900 in the reserve and 120 in the magazine as far as the reloading is not that far off but this one got a lot fast reloading video for you guys man requested by one of the viewers requested by one of you guys you guys told me to use this weapon right here the static hv this thing right here is absolutely monster according to you guys did not put this in my top 10 my bad shame on me and we're gonna compare that weapon with the fjx so you guys told me on the, well one of you guys i won't say you guys one of you guys told me to make a video using this weapon because you guys are saying that this weapon is basically better than the fjx i'm telling you i kind of like this weapon how it looks right here we made a class build for this weapon now this is what we're gonna do right here so let's go ahead and get the blow burner so we're gonna compare these two weapons right here first so like, let's go ahead and go straight to the red zone, man. We want to test this with the most dangerous zombies in here. So let's compare these two weapons right here in the red zone. And then we're going to break down the class setup as well. And then tomorrow we're going to talk about the other two class setup that we're going to get into in a minute. Now those two class setups are a little bit different than these two right here. Both of those weapons are going to be smaller. Uh, basically more like a close quarter combat weapon. Uh, this one's a close quarter and medium range, right? The next version is going to be close quarter, mainly close quarter. Now, I'm sure we'll still be able to use it for medium range, but it's not designed for that. Those weapons are going to be fast ADS and fast movement speed. So anyway, let's get right here to the rest. I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We're going to try not to make this video very long. My opinion, I'm going to give you guys my opinion at the end of the video. And uh, But I want to hear you guys' opinion. I want to know what you guys think. Alright, so let's do this, yo. Alright, so let's go ahead and legendary two here. Golden armor. Pocket punch level three. Yeah, they shall perk. Speak cola. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this one. And now we're gonna go ahead and pocket punch this one. Legendary tool. And uh, let's go ahead and see what happens. Alright, so that right there was the static. You know what? Since we're right here, let's go ahead and do this infested stronghold right here. So reloading is pretty quick. So you do have a large amount of uh, reserve. I like the reloading. Now I was missing my shots. Yo, reloading is so fast. Oh man, this thing kills really fast. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this weapon this good though? Oh man. I did not know, yo. I did not know. I remember using this the first time this this thing was dropped. And I have not tested this weapon ever since. Alright, let's go ahead and do this again. Reloading is fast. 
far as ammo capacity. Oh, this. Oh my god. Oh. There is no way. Okay, so, okay, 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 okay. Max ammo is 800. And we got 100 max. Okay, so as far as damage, this thing is damage and mobility. And this is the AR version, y'all. Look at this. This is a, the AR version. Let's see it from a distance. Oh my god. Alright, so this one got 120 and 90 versus. Hold on. I can kind of insta kill. Alright, so this is where it might come through right here. It might it might come into this right here. Okay, the static HV got a hundred and then eight hundred on the reserve. FJX got 120, 900 on the reserve. As far as mobility, oh man, yo mobility the H okay the static, mo uh, no mobility but reloading is a lot faster than the FJX. I gotta check the rounds from there though. Okay, this thing is actually killing really fast, man. Oh, there goes the mimic. What am I missing? Ah, uh, we got that taken care. Yo, this thing is melting. So now let's go ahead and test the FJX. So again, this weapon, ADS, mobility, uh, damage is amazing. I mean, look at this, man. Fire ray looks feels feels really good. What well, got me impressed is the reloading on this thing, though. So that hundred rounds might compensate for that reloading. Oh man, what happened to the portal? I mean, the FJX reloading is not that bad. But compared to this, I mean, what? But you do get 120 rounds, so you have to reload less than than this one. And you get now 100 the reserve versus the other one. So let's go ahead and go to another infested stronghold over here and test this, this weapon out. This is the thing about the FJX, so it's just so smooth. It's so smooth, yo. Oh my god. Let's see. You see ADS too, though. I feel like FJX ADS is a lot faster. See, FJX. See that? This is this is what I can do with FJX. So that's the thing, though. See if you if you guys see what I'm talking about. You see, when I do this, versus this one. See that? That's the that's that's the that's the different, y'all. That's the different. Go ahead and get this. Oh, they're trying to set me up. Man, 
man. This is, I think this is the deal for now. Man, I, I feel like damage wise, they're so close. Uh, even though, oh my god, look at that. Even though this one's supposed to have a higher headshot damage than the FJX. For whatever reason, the FJX just killed faster. I mean, look at this. But I would say the difference is, y'all, the difference is, is, is right here. This. Like doing this. Tapping, tapping your aim on and off. Doing that, tapping your aim on and off. That's how you lock and get that critical hit damage, right? But with the FJX, so look at this. Oh man, they about to die. Look at this. It's so fast. And then you got that, and then you had the situation where one got 900 rounds, and then the other one got 800 rounds on the reserve. 100 rounds on your Mac versus 200. So what are you looking for? Get rid of something right here. All right, this is the FJX right here. Look at this. See how fast this thing is like moving and shooting though. Man, I don't know, man. I don't know versus this one. See that? Man, that's tough, y'all. That's tough. But again, the thing about the FJX, which to me, this one is not even the one with the fast fire rate. This is the one with the conversion kit. This is the one with the conversion kit. The one without the conversion kit shoots even faster. Think about that. The one without the conversion kit shoots even faster. This thing ADS and sprint to fire speed is crazy, man. Look at this. Remember, to get that crit damage, you want to aim and you lock, right? As soon as you lock into the enemy, then you get a crit damage. Aim down the side with the dead shot perks, give you the crit damage. So every time you do this, you get a crit damage. The thing about this one is like, if you keep tapping the aim button, if you keep doing that, like this, and you hold it down for a second, you get a crit damage. But when I switch to this one, it's a little slower than the FJX. So that's a huge difference. Let me go ahead. I don't need that. Do want to get this for this one now let's go ahead and put an ammo mod on this thing you know what we're not even going to use the marker holding on this thing though he picked them up yeah he's gonna pick them up yeah he's gonna pick them up Oh my god, I fell. Uh, let's go find a mega abomination.
All right, so we got a disciple here. Let's see what happens. All right. All right, that's not the boss disciple. That's not the boss disciple. Man, I was just about to say, I was like, there's no way. Oh my god. Look at this thing, bro. Man, he dead. Even though everybody's shooting, you can still tell like how much damage I'm doing though. Y'all can still tell how much damage we're doing. So both of these weapons take three shots without crit damage. Now it all goes down on basic, uh, basically uh, which one shoot faster, right? So if the FJX, if I got a, a whole bunch of zombies and I'm able to shoot a lot faster like this, then I'm getting crit damage a lot faster than this one. So whatever weapon ADS faster, whatever weapon has a lot of ammo, is the one that's gonna come on top. Because both of these weapons actually do the, pretty much the same amount of damage. So which one's going to get the, the ADS faster and which one's going to... Uh, and which one got more ammo? And so far, as you can see, the FJS got more rounds. So you got 900 and then you got 120. Uh, 900 in the reserve and then 100 in the magazine. And then the static HV got 100 and only 800 under reserve and it's sure a little slower so i don't know man i'm leaning towards the fjx man let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think so far this is uh it's a close one it's, it's pretty much even when it comes to damage because like when you look at this weapon man this thing kills so fast look at this let me get this this bunch of zombies in here i want to get like a whole crowd of them there you go. All right, come this way. Come this way. All right, watch this. All right, look at the FJX. Like, I'm actually even able to push forward and do this. Like, that's the difference, though. I think the FJX got an overall high mobility, um, uh, superior ADS, sprint to fire speed. It just feel a lot faster. Similar damage, just a lot faster. Now, I'm going to give this one, the static, I'm going to give it the reloading, man. Reloading is so beautiful, y'all. Reloading is so nice in here. Based on me testing this weapon, this weapon definitely belongs on the top 10. This this thing belongs on the top 10, the static. Like for me to actually leave this weapon now, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I'm, I'm a fool. Oh my God, I'm a fool. I mean, look at this. Oh, I got a group behind me. Really? Come on, come on. I mean, look at this, y'all. There is no way this thing is out of the top 10. And reloading is so nice. FJX just do this, bro. See that? <laughs> this thing just do this, y'all. It, it just feels like in a different class. It just feels in a different class. 
uh, hopefully I answer this for the guy in the comments. Static HV is said they has 42 headshot damage, upper torso is 36, lower torso is 33, versus 37, 31, 30, uh, 31. The thing is, the FJX has a higher fire rate. Think about this, a higher fire rate. And with a conversion kit, which your fire rate actually goes down, the FJX has better effective damage range already when you use the conversion kit, which that's what we was using. Clearly, you see the FJX moves a lot better. So this is the build. So this is the season fire reload build. So we got the quartermaster suppressor, and then obviously with this one, we got the ADSP, same as the other one, right? So we got the quartermaster suppressor that is going to give you, obviously, the vertical recoil control, horizontal recoil control. On top of that, this one right here will give you the ADS speed, um, minus 11 on ADS speed, minus 7 on sprint fire speed. As far as the ADS speed, you got 162 milliseconds, which is really good. And then you got 124 on sprint to fire speed. Movement speed and, and uh, ADS movement speed, this is a plus for this one. So this one focuses on mobility and then obviously we got recoil what made this weapon great is that we added more mobility in here as you can see right here more ads speed and sprint to fire speed and then we put this for more mobility now recoil control as you can see right here goes down but again we got the conversion key right here that's going to give us 30 percent of horizontal recoil control and vertical recoil control is uh minus 15 percent so you get uh, effective damage range and min uh, minimal damage range as well. So this build has zero recoil. Look at this. This is a laser. And then as far as mobility, decent mobility, as you can see. Look at that. Another thing that you guys need to notice with this weapon is that obviously with this weapon you get 60 rounds So you're talking about 120 rounds once you pack punch this weapon if you use the marker holding this weapon has The ammo reserve is going to give you a hundred uh, 1020 on ammo reserve for this one, right? So let's look at the uh, static HV. So this is the AR version of this weapon right here um so this is what we did right here. So we wanted to go ahead and keep, you know, recoil control with this one. We could have went with this one, uh, even though it gives you more recoil control and vertical recoil control and all that. But I didn't want to lose too much mobility because I want to be able to, since it's an AR version, I still want to be able to move fast. So right here we put um, minus 10% on everything as far as recoil control. And we only lost 9%. We added the slasher, the slash, the only reason why we add the jack slash is because um, I wanted a vertical recoil control, but I wanted to add more mobility. So if you would have went like with this one, we add mobility in general, ADS speed. So you can always go with this one, which my next build, you're going to see that I'm using this one. Um, but I really wanted to have the vertical recoil control, even though it's not much. Um, this one, you know, is spring speed and tactical spring. I mean, I get it with this one. You go 4% on 3%. So you got the tactical springs on uh, spring speed. And then I got the, uh, the vertical recoil control. And on top of that, I'm not losing anything as far as ADS with this one. I didn't gain, but I didn't, I'm not losing any. And then, then we got the quartermaster suppressor. They add everything as far as recoil control. Minus 10, minus 23, minus 10. So this right here is good. And then we added this for the effective damage range because this is a AR version. So you want to be able to shoot from, you know, medium range, not too like really far, but medium range is what we're looking for. And then we went with this one. Now I was going to go with the Jack Glassless, Glassless because of the, um, oh, my bad, my bad. This one gives you that firing aim and stability when you fire. So you're going to have a little more stability. The reason I went with the other one, where is it? This one, I just felt like this one has a, a better view, is wider. Um, and I will be I, I don't know, I just like this one on this on this weapon. This is this this is a zero recoil version of this weapon right here. The bad thing with this one is you only get 50 rounds. So when we're talking about comparing this one with the FJX. It's like, okay, 50 rounds versus 60 rounds. 
100 rounds versus 120 rounds. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a big difference. 